Mingalaba, Mabuhay! Welcome to the WebShop series on nurturing ourselves as whole person educators. There are six WebShops in this series organized by the United Board for Myanmar Alumni of United Board Programs. The WebShops are virtual workshops which express our solidarity with Myanmar colleagues and are aimed at supporting and sustaining their continuing whole person education during this challenging time of their country's history. Each video recording has been edited for brevity and is made available for other educators who may find some valuable strategies to cope with similar challenges. Once again, welcome! So my topic is mindfulness meditation for moral development. And mindfulness is like a gatekeeper. It observes everything land entering in our mind. Mindfulness meditation is the echo of being attention and awareness and being present what we are doing, including thinking and feeling with non-judgmental way. There is a big difference between making judgments and being judgmental. Making judgment comes on a balanced and neutral mind. Judgmental way of or judgmentalism come from an imbalanced mind. When we are judgmental, we are critically finding fault with another person, group of people, idea, or situation. We should find love, strength, and inner light in even the darkness places. So by redirecting our focus to the present moment, we cut the cycle of judgmental thought. So, so this is how the, the, the function of mindfulness meditation is to reduce stress and worry. Mindfulness meditation is a practice for self-realization and mental development to reduce stress and worry. Mindfulness meditation can help in our moral development through taming our mind's inner critic of judgmental way. Inner critic is making worry what is like it does of mind. For example, if there is dust on our practical glass, we cannot see anything clearly. Similarly, if we worry, we cannot see ourselves clearly. Mindfulness meditation reduces our worry or dust of mind to see ourselves clearly. If our mind is full of worry, then our mind will be full of dust. So we should keep on our mind clean by doing mindfulness meditation. So to talk about mindfulness meditation for moral development, first we should know what philosophy is. It is because moral development is based on a study of ethical principle. And at this is a study of one of the subjects of philosophical studies. So what is philosophy? Philosophy comes from two Greek words. Philian and Sophia. Philian means love of or friendship for. Sophia means wisdom. So philosophy is, the meaning of philosophy is love of wisdom or friendship for wisdom. So we can see that wisdom is like a good friend, a good friend. I remember that the motto of Yango University is in Pali words, Nati the man waisa meta inyane to the mesu mishi no friend like wisdom so wisdom is like our good friend if we go journey of life together with our good friend good friend wisdom it's sure I can say sure that it is a safety journey as you all know philosophy is translated into Tatanika beta as a major subject of Yama University dasana. The meaning of dasana, it's come from Pali words and Sakda words. It means vision and vision of truth. It means to search for the truth, to search for way of life. The function of philosophy is to develop 
the quality of people to have a synoptic and right attitude by using their reasoning. Here, capacity means the capacity of morality. And here, synoptic means synoptic view of moral principle. And here, right attitude means philosophical attitude or in Pali, what Yoni saw, Manasikara, positive thinking. And reasoning. Reasoning is like looking at ourselves in the mirror to see ourselves. So we can see ourselves, our action, our behavior by using our reasoning power. Reasoning power, we can do making judgment whether our action, our behavior is good or bad. So by using our power of reasoning, we can know our action is good or bad. Then we should know what is ethics. And this is a study of morality. Morality comes from the Latin words, morals, meaning custom. And this comes from Greek words, ethics meaning character. Here, I would like to present about my experience that I learned something about the meaning of character at the seminar of C.I. Dr. Anton Thet. C.I. Dr. Anton Thet is a well-known professor of Yangon University of Economics. When he talked about what character is in the seminar, he requested the audience to draw a picture of tree. So all of audience draw a picture of tree, including me. Then Dr. Anton that shows his slide to see a picture of tree. And then all of the picture of tree drawn by audience are quite different from the picture of tree drawn by Dr. Anton that. Dr. Anton that tree has many roots under the ground. The tree drawn by audience, including me, have no roots because we cannot see the roots. So Dr. Anton that said, the karaita is like the roots of the tree. We cannot see, but it is very important to grow a tree. So also our karaita is very important to grow our life. So we can say that at this is a study of karaita and it's a study of evaluation of conduct and behavior of human being. And also it is a study of what we should do, what we should not do, what we ought to do, what we ought not to do. Then it is a study of ethical problem. Now that there are so many ethical problems to study in the ethics. Here, today, the question we have to learn here is what is model development and how to get it. So here is a cool back moral development theory. Moral development theory of Lawrence Kohlberg can be divided into three levels. Number one is pre-conventional level. It is orientation of obedience and punishment for school child morality. This level is to avoid punishment and attain rewards. And number two is conventional level. And it is an orientation of interpersonal relation for social morality. This level is to be accepted and socially approved by others. According to the experiment of the psychologist Kohlbach, all of most people stay at this conventional level. But another level is the post-conventional level. It is orientation of universal ethical principle and individual conscience for principle morality. At this level, we have to choose ethical principle by our conscience. According to the experiment of the psychologist Kohlbach, very few people can step this level. So here, we all are educators, but that according to Kohlbach, the few people who are intellectual and spiritual and ethical person can step this level. Here we all are educators, we all are intellectual, and we all are spiritual, and we all are ethical person. I believe we can step this level by the 
choosing of ethical principles. We know that the meaning of philosophy is love of wisdom. But here, according to their Levinas, he is a philosopher of ethics. So he defined philosophy as the wisdom of love rather than love of wisdom. His work is based on the ethics of the other, or in, or in Levinas' turn, on ethics as first philosophy. Levinas prefers to think philosophy as wisdom of love rather than love of wisdom. In the previous slide, I explained about the meaning of philosophy as love of wisdom. Here, love of wisdom is concerned with theoretical philosophy. And wisdom of love is concerned with practical philosophy or philosophical counseling. Wisdom is a good mental factor in our mind. We can find in our mind that this our wisdom. And loving kindness is also a good mental factor in our mind. By doing practice of mindfulness meditation on wisdom of love, it can be regarded as mental development. I try to present based on the post-conventional level of covert moral development theory and Levinas' definition of philosophy, wisdom, or love. So I'll present about mindfulness meditation for moral development. The first is the Heraclitus view on moral development based on ethical principle of change. According to Heraclitus, all things are changing into the opposite. For example, ice, which is hot, changes into water, which is salt. No man can step in the same river twice. This is the very famous saying of Heraclitus. And then he said that music results from the chain of low and high notes, and good and evil were two notes of chain in a way of life. The universe results from the chain of opposite, good and evil. So here we can say that we can do mindfulness meditation on ethical principle of chain or wisdom of chain to make our moral development. This one is ethical principle of happiness. That is, this is the Democritus view on moral development based on the concept of happiness. He said the goal of life is happiness at the same time one should happiness happiness is an inner condition that depends upon moral the upon harmony of the soul goodness is not only a matter of action but also depends upon one's inner desire so we can do mindfulness meditation on wisdom of happiness or ethical principle of happiness that will make our moral development for the time being we are under the COVID-19, but also under the COVID-21. It may be difficult to choose this ethical principle of wisdom of happiness. But as an educator, we all have first experience of happiness when we share our knowledge to our students. So we should rethink about our memory of happiness. In this way, we can take mindfulness meditation on wisdom of happiness that make us moral development. Next one, ethical principle of self-understanding. It is the Socrative view. According to Socrates, knowledge is virtue. An man like is not worthy living. So he said, know thyself, know yourself. When one knows that a thing is good through Philosophical counseling. We have philosophical counseling means dialogue between each and other. Then he or she will choose to do that thing. The most important endeavor of a person is to know himself or herself. So here also we can see that we can, we believe we can do mindfulness meditation on ethical principle understanding or wisdom or self understanding that makes moral development. Then Next one, we will find another ethical principle. That is Plato's views on moral development based on ethical principle of self-realization. According to Plato, a person is living in a 
life of moral development when self-realization rules the world. A life of self-realization makes moral development for everyone. A life of self-realization will be the good life. They are focused in the virtue, according to the Plato, in his, he explained in his work, Republic. Republic is very famous to study the political science in the university. So according to Plato, they are four cardinal virtues of state building and personal building. They are wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice. So here, they are four ethical principles, according to Plato. They are ethical principles of self-realization, ethical principles of courage, ethical principles of temperance, ethical principle of justice. So, so these ethical principles can make our moral development. Then let's see another ethical principle of Aristotle. So according to Aristotle, the goal of human life is a rational attitude with self-awareness toward the feelings and desire. Rational attitude with self-awareness concept of the golden mean. A good person is one who lives a life according to this golden means of self-awareness, who does not go to extremes in action, but balance one extreme over against another. So here also we can say that we can do mindfulness meditation on ethical principle of self-awareness or wisdom of self-awareness that makes our moral development. Now we are eight ethical principles. Another one is Kant. Kant is the German philosopher. The previous philosopher, Aristotle, Plato, Socrates, Democritus, and here that is a Greek, Greek philosopher. So according to Kant, moral quality of the act is not determined by its result. A good will or good motive is the indescribable condition of moral life. So our moral quality of the act is determined by our good will. For the motive to be good, a person must act from the sense of duty or good will. So according to Kant, good will alone is good. So we can see that we we believe we can do mindfulness meditation on wisdom of good will or ethical principle of good will. That makes our moral development. This is number nine, ethical principle. And then another one is based on Mill and Bender. They are English philosophers. So according to then moral quality of the act is determined by its result, by its pleasure. This view is different from Kantian ethics. According to then, everyone desires pleasure. Everyone ought to seek only pleasure. The pleasure alone is good. What is beneficial to the greatest number of people is good. Here also we can see that we believe we can do mindfulness meditation on ethical principle of pleasure or wisdom, of wisdom of pleasure. That makes moral development. This is number 10, ethical principle. Then let's go another one. It is Sat Yan Paul Sadhu. It is he he is a French philosopher. He is a existentialist. He is also a very famous writer. According to Sad view, everyone is responsible for himself or herself and the whole mankind. Everyone is free to choose what he or she ought to do. Everyone is defined by action, his action or her action. Right understanding of action made by freedom of choice and responsibility. So here, the two concepts, freedom of choice and responsibility, is the, the main concept of Jan Paul Sartre. 
So according to Yang Bosa, we can say that I, we believe we can do mindfulness meditation on ethical principle of action or wisdom of action that makes moral development. This is number 11 ethical principle. So here from one to 11 is the ethical principle are from the Western philosophy. Now let's go to the Eastern philosophy. Here is Indian philosophy. The Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is one of the philosophical texts of Indian philosophy. This Bhagavad Gita builds on moral development based on ethical principle of self-control. According to Bhagavad Gita, knowledge and action are inspirable. Knowledge is meant for a person who has self-control. The path of action is meant for a person who attains true knowledge through action or duty performed without any selfish end. So here also we can see that we can do mindfulness meditation on ethical principle of self-control or wisdom of self-control that makes our moral development. And let's go next one. Here is Chinese, Chinese philosophy. The Confucian view on moral development based on ethical principle of yen. So according to Confucius, do to other what we, you wish yourself and do not do to other what you do not wish yourself. So according to Confucius, there are four cardinal bhaji of our action, yen, ji, li, and qi. But here, we, yen, ji, li, qi is the, the Confucian moral virtues. So yen means human heartedness, and ji means righteousness, and li means propriety or moral discipline, and qi means knowledge. So these four virtues are very important to study Confucian philosophy. So according to Confucius, uncultured person blames others, and semi-cultured person blames himself, and cultured person blames nobody. So we can say that we believe we can do mindfulness meditation on ethical principle of yen, ethical principle of yi, ethical principle li and ethical principle of chi. That makes more developments. And then another one is Buddhist view. According to Buddhist view, there are four cardinal virtues of moral development. They are Mitta, Kayuna, Murita, and Upeka. So we can Say moral development with, with loving kindness, mitta, and moral development with compassion, gruna, and moral development with rejoicing in another's good fortune, mudita, and moral development with balanced mind, ubeka. So we can say that we can do mindfulness meditation on a the principle of loving kindness, compassion, rejoicing, and balance mind. Here also there are four ethical principle we can choose. Let's go another one. Here is Japanese philosophy. Nishida, Kitaro Nishida is Japanese philosopher. According to Nishida, love is the result of knowledge. And knowledge is the result of love. To know is to love and to love is to know. To love is to intuit the other's feelings. To love God is to know God. 
to love Buddha is to know Buddha. Here, we can say that the more we know about a person, the more we love that of person. But we can argue that the more we know about a person, the more we hate that of person. But here, hate is hate cannot be an ethical principle. Only love can be an ethical principle. So we can say that we believe we can do mindfulness meditation on wisdom of knowledge and love. That makes our moral development. This is the number 21 ethical principle. Now let's go the last one, 22, 22 ethical principle. It is our Myanmar view. This is this ethical principle based on my PhD dissertation. In our Myanmar culture, when we make donation or good action, we have to take care of our donation or our action with three kinds of sirena. Sirena is very Sirena, Sirena, we can use this word Sirena in every way in our Myanmar culture. So here also we have to take care of our donation or good action with three kinds of Sirena. That's three kinds of Sirena are, we say in Pali, Wai Poba Sirena, at pre present Sirena, and Monza Sirena, at present Sirena, and Apra Sirena, after present sirena, there are three kinds of sirena. And that to do our good action, sirena is very important. So sirena is called karma or action. All Myanmar educators are familiar with this word sirena. There is a saying that educator must have three na, wadana, hobby, Anina, sacrifice, and Sirena. So Sirena can be translated as pollution, world, motive, intention, and drive. It is an ethical concept. Sirena is sometimes good and sometimes evil. Here we only we use only good. Sirena, it is as a ethical principle. It is a leader of mind and body, our mental action and physical action and bubble action. So mental living, driving force of all actions of men. So Sirena is a driving force of our actions. That is a mental factor that awakens itself and other mental factor associated with it. So the meaning of Sirena and it, it in Myanmar term is in no Sojin. No Sojin is awakening. It is a self-awakening mental factor and it's awakened other mental factor, good mental factor factors as well as evil mental factors. It is a way of knowing the most basic knowledge to the highest level. So we can say that know you are sitting now, know your intention, whatever you do, so we can know ourself. According to saying or Socrates, know thyself. So we can say that know you are sitting now, or know your intention, or know your motive, or know your evolution, whatever you do, whatever you think, whatever you feel. So here also we can say that we believe we can do mindfulness meditation on ethical principle of self-awakening sirena that makes our moral development. So here is 22 ethical principle. So we can choose these 22 
principle. So now, please choose by yourself which one you would like to take for your mindfulness meditation. After you have chosen, we have to practice for 10 minutes meditation by using this ethical principle. 